Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to play a uh, easier version of uh, the song Seasons by Chris Cornell. Um, it's off his uh, singles track and um, you may have also heard it on the uh, movie uh, Man of Steel. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty pretty cool song and there's some versions out there that, you know, it's, it sounds right and everything and um, the way they play it. It's just a little bit more of a difficult way to play it. Uh, the way I'm going to show you is the way that uh, Chris plays it when he plays like a live set somewhere. Um, you can see a couple of videos on YouTube um, that he's playing it uh, in this way. And and the way that he plays it, um, I think some people put it in an open E uh, tuning for your guitar, but the way he does it is uh, open F, uh, F5 uh, tuning for the guitar, So, uh, which means that all the strings are tuned to either an F or, or a C. Um, and the, the way things go, uh, you're going to tune your 6th string here. You're going to tune your 6th string up uh, a half step to an F. Uh, your 5th string you'll tune to the same octave of F, so you'll tune that down uh, to an F, from an A to an F. Um, your 4th string you're going to tune down from a D to a C. Um, and then your... Uh, third string seems kind of like a stretch there to tune it all the way down but you'll tune it to the same octave of a C as you have your fourth fret at so both of these are going to be C's when played open they'll be the same note so five and six will be the same note uh, four and three will be the same note and then for uh, two and one you'll see the same thing you'll tune uh, the second string you'll tune it up a half step to a uh, to a C and then you'll tune the first string down all the way to that same octave of C. So you'll have three different sets of two strings that sound exactly the same. So five and six, four and three, uh, two and one. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. The uh, open for the song, you're going to play um, on the tenth fret of the fifth and sixth strings. You're going to cover those up. And you can play the bottom four strings open, so you just hit that and hold for a second, and then you're going to slide down to the third fret, back up to nine, so ten, three, nine, down to four, so so far we have ten, three, nine, four, seven, open. Once you hit that open, let it ring, let those bottom strings ring out, and then play Ooh, sorry. up at the 10th fret. You're going to, um, and I think you can either slide this, so 10 to 12, back to 10, uh, and then 9, and then down to 5. So, um, But usually I play it, uh, I just hammer on and pull off. into that uh, 10th fret on the 5th and 6th string, 3 to 9, 4 to 7, open, and then play that little deal right there, and then end back on the 10th and just let that ring. Uh, for this part, I'm going to put the pick down, um, play with my fingers. You can play this with a pick or whatever, whatever your skills are with a pick, but um, basically um, and I'm just going to go through the bass parts of this first. Um, so you're going to play open, uh, open fourth string, uh, and then the second fret of the fourth string, third fret of the fifth string, two times, and then a pull off from the second to open, and then hit open again. So it'll be like. like that um, and then you'll also play uh, some other notes along with that and what I do with my my finger picking is uh, so starting that off you're gonna hit four three two and then cover up on the second so 
432-432-532-532-532-5, and then pull off 5-2. Four three two four three two five three two five three two five five two. So it's five pull off. So we're getting more notes in there. Five, five, five two. But um, you're only hitting it a, a few times. So I'll play that through a few times. Slow down a little bit. Three two four three two five three two five three two five five two. So like that, and and that's what you're gonna play for the first verse, um, the first chorus, and the second verse. Um, so, and then when I get to the third or the, to the second chorus, um, I'll just hit those strings open. I pick the pick back up gonna play some chords this time um, so it's gonna be a little bit different than, than the original part uh, and what you're gonna do right here this is where he goes into that I'm lost behind you know I can't hit the high note uh, like he does usually whenever I play it I play it a whole step down from this um, in a D sharp fifth um, just so I can hit the notes but um, in purposes of showing this uh, how to play it um, I'll have it tuned to the actual tuning that he does it um, but basically in the second verse so you're gonna play open and then the second fret of these bottom four strings slide up to the fourth fret of these bottom four and then you're gonna play the uh, fifth and sixth on uh, fifth and sixth string on the fifth fret uh, fifth fret of the fifth and sixth strings, whichever way you want to put it. And I usually just lay my uh, middle finger across that, so across those two and hit them. And you'll get the the strumming down if you listen to to the way the song goes. Um, you know, it's just a. You go through the chorus you'll go back into and this will be like but it's played with chords now so you're gonna play so open so open second fret of the bottom four and then uh, the third fret of the fifth and sixth string and then a pull off on the second. And then uh, at the end of the third verse, yeah, we're on the third verse, uh, <laughs> you're going to go um, uh, where he says, uh, the naked floor reminds me, um, so it'll be... I think I do it differently than he does. Um, I think he pulls off and does something like that, but I hit twice. So the chair just made a weird noise. So you're gonna play third fret of the fifth and sixth, open of the fifth and sixth, and then third and fifth. And you can hammer that, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do to make it sound cool. Uh, third, fifth, and then you just play some open. Um, and then back into the third chorus, which is just like the second.
And then after, at the end of that, I think you play it through four times, you're going to go... This is kind of a lead into the bridge, which is just like the intro. Um, so you're going to go... So... Chorus to the fourth fret of the fifth and sixth string up to the seventh fret of the fifth and sixth string and then to the tenth fret of the fifth and sixth string and you'll go back into that um, intro part so if I should be short on Last part, um, it's going to lead back into the end part of the third chorus, so it'll be like. Uh... And then you just go back into playing that. I think you play that four times. fret and play a harmonic there and uh, the way you do that is just go to the very front part of the 12th fret lightly cover up the strings and then just you know and then just hit them and then you got your harmonic and then while that's ringing out I usually put my pick back down switch back to finger picking and we go back to what the uh, first verse was played like so So play that, and he'll sing one time the I'm Lost Behind part. And then uh, he'll go into a different part, which is like the chorus, but finger-picked. It's like... Except it's... So you're going to go, instead of going... Instead of going to that third fret of the fifth, you're going to go slide up to the fourth and then play twice on the uh, fifth fret of the fifth string. And then play the fourth uh, fret on the fifth and sixth string, seventh fret on the fifth and sixth string, and then up to the uh, twelfth fret. And that's basically it. Uh, so, like I said, an easier way to play this song. If you do have any questions, I know I'm probably not the best uh, <laughs> at, at speaking of what I'm saying. Um, but, uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, leave uh, comments on the video. And uh, I'll try and get them answered as, as soon as I, po I possibly can. I don't really get on here too much. But, uh, yeah, I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll uh, see you next time.